Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I had a request from a close friend of mine about how to make a budget using a spreadsheet. So I thought I would make this video making a budget for beginners using spreadsheets and share it with them and with you in case you were interested in learning for yourself. So in this video I will be showing you how to make a budget similar to the one on the screen. So currently if I type in a new date, so let's say 3rd of Jan, I bought some clothes for 50 bucks. Everything else will change. And let's say I wanted to save more and change this. So let's say, oh, my goal for this month was to save 300 and then this increase to 900 and then that increase to 100 and then maybe I spent 50 now I've gone into the negatives don't want to spend that much money so yes I'll show you how to do that bit as well okay let's get started so I'm going to create a new sheet file new if you are very new to spreadsheets um, you'll notice we have columns and rows so the columns have letters the rows have numbers and then one block is called a cell so I will be talking about cells um, if you'd like to learn some spreadsheet basics I can make a whole video of like the five basic things I think everyone should know about spreadsheets but for today we're just going to start writing in cell b2 and say month budget then i'm going to skip a row and write expenses then i'm going to go to f so f4 and write income then in i I'm going to write cash flow. So we've got expenses, income, cash flow. Basics that we need. Now I'm going to write my column headings for each table. So for expenses, we have date, expense, category. Um, and since this has gone over into the next cell I can just double click there in between C and D when that symbol appears and it will automatically adjust amount okay then we've got income category same thing double click amount then cash flow just category and amount cool okay now before we continue couple of things we need to do so for all of these amount columns I'm going to make sure to change this from general to accounting number format so if you don't want to use the dollar sign you can go to more accounting formats and you can find the symbol that you'd like to use for yours but most people just use the dollar sign to symbol currency so I'm just going to click on that to make sure that that is in fact currency and same thing for this column and for that one then you could go back and just change that specific one to be general if you would like to oops change the wrong one that one general so you can use undo and redo pretty easy general okay so the reason we're doing this is because if we type this dollar sign, it's going to mess with our calculations later on. So you do not want to type the dollar sign. So now when I go here and I type 100, you see it's just 100. And when I press enter, it adds the dollar sign and the cents for me, but it is still a number. So I can still do calculations with it at the end of the day. So very important, don't skip that step. Then let's go to income and let's say we've got paycheck one, paycheck two, and then maybe you've got a side hustle. So 
perhaps you have other unexpected income so you can give yourself like three four maybe five here so that will give you a little bit of wiggle room you can leave a couple of rows empty if you'd like to so that can account for any unexpected income like maybe you get money back from someone or you get a tax return or anything like that and then you can have your total over there you don't even need this here because we're going to calculate it here as well but if you'd like you can do the total over there then for cash flow we're going to have a start balance so that way you can keep track of what is already in your bank account income expenses and then we do want to know how much we're saving this month as well then we'd like to know what is left over so the money that we can spend after we've finished all our expenses so maybe you'll have some left over for your savings or a fun trip or something else okay next thing we need to do is the calculations so if you would like to see a total in any of your tables you would do it in a couple of ways like you could say equal sign and then click on that amount plus that one plus that one but it will take you quite a long time just make sure you do start with an equal sign instead of adding everything together we're going to use what we call the sum function so we have equals sum with an open round bracket then we highlight all of the values we want to add together then we close our bracket and press enter so now let's say we get thousand dollars and then next time we get 750 it'll start adding it all together so it's kind of what we're going to do here as well start balance you don't need to calculate anything you can just type in let's say you start the month with a thousand dollars already in your bank account cool next we're going to do equal sum open bracket and then it's going to be the same thing here just remember if you do end up adding more rows to change the formula if you go over g11 you're going to need to change that in your formula as well and we'll just press enter should still match up then for expenses we're going to go equal sum and the block we want to start is going to be d6 and then we're going to do our own little colon and then write d a thousand we probably are not going to have a thousand expenses but if you do you just need to adjust that number as well and then we can close our bracket and press enter so that will add up all of our expenses savings um, you can add that number in there I'm not going to make it calculate the savings for you so you can set your own savings goal and change that um, if you'd like you could just not have savings and then have left over be your savings but i think it's a good idea to have a savings goal and to put away money first put money in your savings first before you do anything else with it so we're going to calculate how much money we have left over so we are going to do equal sign we're going to start with the start balance we're going to add the income to it then we subtract expenses and we subtract savings because savings is going to go into a different bank account ideally to accrue more interest so we've got j6 plus j7 minus j8 plus j9 and then we press enter and that will calculate for us so now we can be like oh okay maybe i want to save a thousand five hundred bucks cool then the rest changes as well before we do the other formatting, I want to show you how to conditionally format this cell so that it will change if it's in the green or the red. So you click on the block, then we go to conditional formatting and we go highlight cells rule. So if this is greater than zero, we would like it to be green. And then we're going to add another rule so new rule is less than so less than zero it's going to go red 
So now if we went overboard and we went like 3,000 bucks with savings, it would go into the red. So that's now a negative amount. Okay, so that's pretty much all of the calculations that you need for this. Now you can just start making it look a little prettier. So I'm going to start with centering these headings. So I'm going to highlight from B4 to D4 and then I'm going to use this merge and center button and I'm going to do that with my other headings as well. Pretty easy. Same thing for the monthly budget. I would like that to go across the board. Merge and center. And then I kind of want to increase the font size for everything. So to select everything, if you just click there in between 1 and A over there, it selects everything. So I'm just going to increase the font a couple sizes, maybe to like 16, 14, 16. And then I just adjust my columns again. So double click to adjust them. I might want to change my color palette. So to change the color palette, we go to page layout. I'm going to change the theme for the whole thing. I'm going to go for, or get, let's see what Wisp looks like. Wisp looks kind of cute, actually. It's a bit more readable, but actually I do like organic. Let's go back organic. Okay, then I can change the colors as well. I'm going to go with paper. All right, now this budget, want to make this bold and then increase that size quite a bit, probably about there. And then this row, I would like to make bold and then increase the size of those. This row, so if you just click on the row, you can edit everything in one go. Bold and italics. Excellent. Okay. Next thing you do want to do is probably add some color and borders. So we can change the fill color, the text color, and the borders. Um, so for this one, I'm just going to start with the fill color. I'm going to make this green to match everything else. So olive green, then first one I'm going to make a bit darker and medium. I'm going to change the text color as well. Okay, that's most of the formatting we'd like to do. And the last thing we want to do is add in our little bar graph. So I'm going to highlight income expenses and savings because that's what I'd like to see in my graph. Then I'm going to go to insert, find the bar graph option or column and click on it. And change the title to and there you have it an easy monthly budget it looks really cute and is functional so now last thing that we want to do is just change the format of this to a date so you can pick what format so you can go to date and pick how you'd like the date to appear. I'm gonna go with that one. Okay, so let's say one of Jan, I bought food, then I bought groceries. So it is a good idea if you maybe want to add all of your recurring bills in here and what your paycheck usually is every month. So you can maybe have like your streaming, and then like your groceries for how much you normally pay. Maybe your electricity. Uh, 
however much that is then you can work out your budget and how much money you have left over so i recommend doing that at the beginning then you'll know how much money you have left over for other things like eating out um, or you can use this as like a, a running expense tracker as well then once you've done that sorted this out um, you can erase the dates for now maybe just have your bills there your, your normal income is what you normally save figure out your expenses then we can rename this sheet to be our template then you can make a copy so we can make a copy make sure you're in the correct book so this is currently called book six because i haven't saved it yet and i'll just say move to the end okay there we go now i can rename this call this one january I'll just move it to after my template and then i can add in my dates for when i'm going to do all of these things etc and you've got a functioning budget so thank you so much for watching uh, i hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are let me know if you have any other requests for spreadsheet tutorials and i can add those up for you i've already had a request to film how to make a bookshelf in a spreadsheet so that will be up as soon as i have a chance to film it again thank you so much for watching have a great day goodbye inklings